The grand total for my portfolio currently is 1 million and 55,000 US dollars. In this video, I will do a deep dive into my portfolio, what are its constituents and my thoughts behind it. There is a lot to cover, so let's jump straight into it. This is my Think or Swim account by TD Ameritrade. The amount of information you see on this page can be quite overwhelming if you are not used to using this platform. But rest assured, I will go through slowly on the key numbers so you can understand what's going on here. Let's start from the top. The total net liquidating value for this account is 783,904 US dollars which essentially means how much this account is worth currently. I am invested in two companies, 25 shares in Shopify and 643 shares in Tesla. The trade prices for Shopify and Tesla are around $1,438 and $835 respectively. For Tesla, my true trade price is around $672 because I bought most of the shares through selling put options and the total premium I've collected amounting to around 104,000 reduce my trade price. Currently, I have two open put options on Tesla, one expiring soon on 10th of December and the other on 17th of December, with strike prices around $890 and $1,010 respectively. In the quantity column, you see negative one because I sold the options instead of buying them. If I bought options instead, this column will show positive numbers. The trade price column shows the premiums I've collected for selling these options, which is $4,150 in total. The reason why the total premium I've collected for these two options is $4,150 and not $41.50 is because each contract represents 100 shares and what are reflected here in the trade price column is the premium per share. Therefore, the total premium equals to the trade prices multiplied by 100. The mark column here means the market price that I will have to pay per share if I am to buy back the put options to close the position. The mark value column is the total amount I need to pay to close the position, which is simply the amount under the mark column multiplied by 100, since each option contract represents 100 shares as mentioned before. Note that it is not compulsory to close the position before the expiration dates. I can simply hold the contracts to expiration without having to buy back the contracts. But to hold them longer means these options will continue to be exposed to price fluctuations and chances of getting striked. Since I want to buy more Tesla shares anyway, I'm not too concerned of getting striked. I will share more about why I am bullish about Tesla in the later part of this video. The year-to-date profits from Shopify and Tesla are around $2,700 and $309,000 respectively. And this brings the total profit to around $311,000. Note that the year-to-date profit from Tesla includes the $104,000 that I've made from selling Tesla options since I started this account. If you are interested to find out the details about my Tesla options, I've posted a few videos on them and you can check out the links in the descriptions below after this video. Coming back to this page, the total net liquidating value considering my profits is $783,904. And this brings us back to where we begin. I hope this page is less overwhelming to you now and if you have any queries, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Moving on, I have $148,000 invested in S&P 500 index through the Infinity US 500 Stock Index Fund by Lion Global Investor, which is a feeder fund in the Vanguard US 500 Stock Index Fund that tracks the S&P 500 index. A feeder fund is one of many smaller investment funds that pool investor money, which is then aggregated under a single centralized master fund. You might be wondering why I chose S&P 500 and not NASDAQ when the later outperforms S&P 500. The reason is because I'm investing using my Central Provident Fund, CPF in short, and NASDAQ is not an available option in the platform I am using. CPF is a compulsory savings plan for working Singaporeans and permanent residents primarily to fund our retirement needs that is somewhat similar to 401k in the US. The platform that I use to invest my CPF funds 
is Endowers, which in my opinion is one of the best platforms available. There are no sales and redemption charges and it rebates 100% of trailer fees, which are fees that a mutual fund manager pays to Endowers when Endowers sells the fund to me. This makes them one of the lowest fees platform around, which is beneficial for me since my capital will not be significantly eroded by hefty fees. In case you are interested, I have an affiliate link below in the description where you can use to get $20 in SS fee credit when you invest at least $1,000 with Endowers. Note that this is an affiliate link and I will also receive $20 credit. Next, I have around 81,000 Singapore dollars or around 60,000 US dollars invested in Singapore stocks and around 64,000 USD investable cash yet to be deployed. This pie chart shows the summary of the breakdown of my portfolio. Overall, 74% of my portfolio is accounted for Tesla, Shopify and Options, 6% for Singapore stocks, 14% for S&P 500 and 6% for investable cash. This brings the grand total of this portfolio to $1,055,000. You might observe that a big proportion of my portfolio is dedicated to Tesla. This is because I have the highest conviction in this company. Quantitatively, Tesla's revenue is growing steadily and year-on-year -year average revenue percentage growth stayed above 20%. Operating cash flow is on a steady uptrend as well. Also, the company has more cash and cash equivalent than its total debt. Companies like this are in net cash position and have very low risk of bankruptcy because it has more cash than its total debt. Qualitatively, Tesla's new factories in Berlin and Texas are coming online soon. And this will significantly boost the production numbers and correspondingly the company's revenue. Tesla is aggressively developing AI for full self-driving. Currently, it is one of the few or the only company in the world that has massive amounts of real-world data from all the Teslas that were driven on the roads to fine-tune its machine learning algorithms to develop full self-driving capability. This sets the company years ahead of all its competitors. In the world of data science, the company with the largest amount of relevant data will win the race. If Tesla succeeds in developing fully autonomous vehicles, it will allow the company to unleash large numbers of Tesla vehicles on the road to provide ride-hailing services. If this happens, it will totally disrupt the current ride-hailing industry, like how it did to the auto industry now. To me, Tesla is not just a hardware company but also a prominent software company and I do not see any of the automakers in the industry right now being able to compete with Tesla. In addition to full self-driving, Tesla has businesses in insurance and solar power related services as well. And they are developing Tesla bots, which kind of makes sense since Tesla vehicles are like robots on wheels. Just remove the wheels, put on arms and legs and you get Tesla bots. You might also observe that my portfolio lacks diversification. Close to 70% of my portfolio is concentrated on Tesla. Personally, I am not a big fan of diversification as there are just not so many companies available that have such clear advantages and potential as Tesla. If I have to choose, I would rather concentrate my capital on companies that I have the most conviction in than to diversify to many average companies just for the sake of diversification. What are your thoughts about concentration versus diversification? Let me know in the comments below. The reason why I am sharing my portfolio is not to show off or anything of this sort. It has totally no benefit to me and in fact, I have no idea who is on the other side watching my video. What I aim to achieve is two things. First, to be transparent to my community in this channel that I put my money where my mouth is and share as much as I can so you find this channel useful. Second, I hope I can be an inspiration to some of you. I am an engineer by training, I do not take home huge paycheck, nor do I have rich dad or powerful uncles. I am just an ordinary person dabbling in the stock market for the past 12 years, 
made tons of mistakes along the way to get to where I am today. And I really hope that my experiences and sharing can be useful for you in your personal financial journey. Looking ahead, what are my plans for this portfolio? I am waiting for opportunity to divest my Singapore stocks and transfer them to the US market because there are more opportunities there to grow my capital. Here you can see a chart comparing the Singapore Streets Times Index against S&P 500 and NASDAQ. It is very obvious that the US markets outperform Singapore market. Second, I will load more Tesla shares if it dips. My target is to own 1,000 Tesla shares with a target price similar to UP Invest base case of $3,000 by 2025. If I manage to accumulate 1,000 Tesla shares and the $3,000 price target truly pans out, this will bring my portfolio to $3 million just considering my Tesla holdings alone. Meanwhile, I will continue to sell options to build up my investable capital. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts about my portfolio? Where do you think I can improve? Or do you have any queries? Let me know in the comments section below. If you are keen to find out more about my Tesla options, you can also click the links in the description below. Hope you have learned something. If you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. Thank you and goodbye.